what kinds of competencies are required to be a board member in today's environment? I think um, breadth of experience, depth of experience, long enough experience, so that uh, you can understand different perspectives without getting just too focused on your own point of view. You listen, the ability to listen to different perspectives discuss it, question everything, and then come to a decision. It's very important, and it comes, it comes with time. It comes with you know, having the breadth and depth of experience. Then giving the time. You know, it's not just the board meeting. I mean, preparation for the board meeting is 10 times more, because you've got to read all the stuff which the company presents. You have to read what the analysts are saying about the company and the competitors. That's a lot of work, you know, because you got to prepare. And thirdly, you need to remain fresh about governance perspectives by networking with other directors outside the company. And there are enough forums available, the associations, and you go there. Then you have director education. So, I mean, I go every year to, you know, whether it's Harvard Business School or somewhere where they have directors. A meeting for two or three days and you spend time with people and see what are the emerging issues which other boards are looking at. So you try to uh, understand what's going on in the world, not just by in your own company. And then talking to the experts because, you know, as I was telling you, investment bankers and consultants, when they come and, of course, some of them have their own agenda, but you use that time to question them. Uh, one of the new things which has happened which is a recent thing in the last few years, is the whole activist phenomena. Activist shareholders are coming in. We have an activist shareholder involved with ConAgra now for the last couple of years. But you know, they, we have a standstill agreement with them, and they're happy with what we are doing. And a lot of people resist activist shareholders. But activist shareholders bring in fresh eyes. And their objective is the same. They want to add shareholder value. Now, you may not agree. 100% with the how of it, but the objective is the same. And so getting to listen to everyone is, is a very important part of being a board member. And then using your own experience and your ability to analyze and solve problems and putting your perspective forward, because again, I mean, one of the things you learn over a period of time is how do you articulate your point of view so that People can understand, and I may or may not agree, but uh, you know, at least you make your point. 